Okay, today we're in Cross Creek, Florida, and we're just going to take a look around and see what's here. This is the Yearling Restaurant and Cocktail Lounge. I'm not exactly sure how long this has been here, but I know it's been here for a while. And that building looks pretty old, so... And they do have cabins that you can rent here. And apparently they have live music on Friday and Saturday. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, this has been here for a while. Not sure if that's an old or a reproduction knee-high sign. Oh, right there. 1952, so that takes the guesswork out. And they're not open yet. We're here early in the morning. And that is a neat old Coca-Cola sign. Probably been there since 1952. And this is pretty cool, this moon thing here. Definitely cool. Okay, that's our look at the Yearling Restaurant. We'll go and see if there's anything else we can find in Cross Creek. There's an old sign for Green's Grocery next to the post office. That's probably a very old sign. And look at that old motel sign, that's old. This is right here at the uh, Yearling Cabins. We're just going to walk down here and take a look at Cross Creek itself. There's the Cross Creek Lodge and uh, motel and RV sites. Well, it's closed now. And there is a sign that tells us that this is Cross Creek right here. And this is Cross Creek, where if you ever read the book or saw the movie, The Yearling, this is where everything took place. And that is very cool. I just thought this was cool. Most of the like places you see signs have like color TV or HBO. Here at the Yearling Cabins they have radios. How cool is that? On the back of this sign they have an old Broadway furniture and appliances neon sign. This is on the back of the one, the sign with the radio. Back of the yearling sign. All right, I'm here with Linda and Kevin. And you're from Zephyr Hills, Florida. And, and you just came up for a weekend weekend getaway in Cross yep. Creek. That's cool. Yep. yep. All right. Well, it's nice meeting y'all. Oh, you nice too. You. And y'all have a safe trip back. You Thank too. you. Cool. Okay, and this is the Marjorie Keenan Rollins Historic State Park that we're about to pull into, and we're going to take a look and see what you can see in here. I remember back in the early 80s when I was in elementary school, we, uh, this is a boat ramp too, they used to cart in the big, you know, VCR machine on a cart, and they did that, they'd bring us into the library and show us movies, and one of the movies we saw back in the early 1980s was The Yearling. 
So they have a very nice covered picnic bench right there. And looks like they have lots of kiosks with lots of information. And it looks like for this Memorial Day weekend, everybody is out here. But this is a nice looking park. And it, you know, it is a boat ramp as well. So they have a nice uh, covered picnic area with looks like a playground. And this says the Cape Barnes Boat Ramp within Marjorie Keenan Rollins State Historic State Park. And I know you can't read that sign. But that is really pretty out there. Alright, I guess we're going to roll around and see what else we can find. You can see Marjorie Keenan Rollins' house from the road. So we're definitely going to have that on this video, but we're just going to explore a little further down. I don't think there's anything else in Cross Creek. Maybe a fire department? I'm not sure. So we'll see what else we can find in Cross Creek. And this is the Marjorie Keenan Rollins house where she lived at. And I believe she wrote her books here too. Or maybe she moved here after she was a famous author. I don't know. But that's her house. Right there. It looks like that's one of the state park employees going about their business at the Marjorie Keenan Rollins house. So if you're a fan of the yearling, that's where it was most likely written and it's definitely where the lady who wrote it lived. Okay, and this is the Cross Creek Fire Department. We're just gonna pull through right quick. I like to film these. Cross Creek Fire Department. And this goes through to a really pretty little Baptist church. A little country church right here. Very pretty church. Right outside of Cross Creek is the even tinier town of Island Grove. And aside from a few houses, this is really pretty much all that's here. This is a winery. And we're just gonna take a look, it's closed. We're out awful early this morning, so this is called the Island Grove Wine Company Tasting House Local Winery Wine and Gifts. And they are closed. And you probably won't see nothing in there but reflection, so. But I just thought this was neat and I'd put it in my video, so. It's a really nice winery to be out here basically in the middle of nowhere. Here we have a train going by in Island Grove. And I just thought this was pretty neat, this old uh, volunteer fire department right here. I don't know if you can read that or not, but it says established 1995 Island Grove substation of the Cross Creek Volunteer Fire Department. Very cool and it looks like our train is still going by.
very cool little fire station right out here in the middle of nowhere in Island Grove, Florida. This is the Island Grove post office. And I just thought that was a neat looking little post office out here in the middle of nowhere. Very nifty. Also in Island Grove is an old hair and nail salon. Looks like it might still be open. It's pretty kept up in the front. But hard to tell. We're here early in the morning on a Sunday. so. Now this is very cool. This is an old grocery store. I'm not sure if it's open and operating or if it's just set up to look cute. There's some old shell gas pumps. An old bicycle. And a very old, looks like a Coca-Cola cooler. One right there. You know, when was the last time you saw a Marlboro sign anywhere? Although I think these might be reproduction signs, but I'm not positive. And there's an old Coke machine. I'm old enough to remember Coke machines like that. And that looks like a really old, that's, uh, that predates me because I don't remember coolers like that. But I do remember Coke machines like that. There used to be one in the Publix in Palaka that was just like this. You get your soda out and there's your bottle opener right there. Very cool. And over here is a little juice bar, which I would imagine is maybe open, you know, once in a while. Definitely not open early on a Sunday morning, but it looks operational. It's right out here in the middle of nowhere. In Island Grove, Florida. You can buy your blueberries here. Very neat little, neat little find right out here in the middle of nowhere. All right, everybody, I thank you for watching my video and uh, hope you enjoyed yourself and had a relaxing time. We enjoyed coming out here and seeing this stuff, so thanks for watching and we will see you next time.